Hi, we're from Coons Manufacturing. Today we're going to show you some helpful tips on your tie grabber. Now we're going to identify a few of the parts in the knotter assembly. First of all, this piece here is a what we call the rocker arm. This is the tucker finger. And then this is the cam. The cam will come around and push on the rocker arm taking the tucker finger back, holding the twine against the bill hook here in the back. Now we're going to show you how to put the cam back at the correct timing mark. To do that, it is important that the twine arm is in, the knotter has rotated one complete cycle and come to a stop. That's the only point where it can be timed properly. You're going to loosen the Allen screws with a 3 16th inch Allen wrench. You're going to move the cam over. Now there is a seam here in the uh, shaft collar. That is not the timing mark. There's a timing mark on the shaft collar that needs to line up with the seam here on the knotter. After you have that in place, you go back in here and retighten the Allen screws. You want to make sure you get them as tight as possible without stripping the screw. If you have adjusted your cam to the proper, the timing mark, and you're still having a problem with either not making a complete knot or your knot is hanging on to the bill hook, now we are going to make the adjustment and check the adjustment on the tucker finger here in relation to the cam. Okay, to make the adjustment on the tucker finger, the twine arm needs to be in so that the knotter will rotate. Then you will rotate the knotter, which will rotate the cam to the straightforward position or the 12 o'clock to where it fully extends this rocker arm to the fullest position. Then we will check here. And as you see, we can still go further on the adjustment, taking the tucker finger back further. After we have made our adjustment to the tucker finger by taking the rocker arm and rotating it clockwise, we now have it back in and checking the distance between the rocker arm and the cam. We have about one eighth inch, which is good. I like to go within an eighth inch to a sixteenth inch of clearance between the two. Thanks for watching. You can find more helpful tips on our YouTube channel. Visit us at coonsmfg.com or give us a call at 877-296-5851.